Sitecore is a web content management system which enables companies to deliver compelling web experiences. It also enables the web content editors and marketers to have full control over all aspects of the website, from social integration and blog posts to advanced personalization, e-commerce and more. It is always beneficial to follow some good practices to get the most out of the system. Good practice in Sitecore should start at the template level. Sitecore content structure. Once the templates have been created, you need to begin work on creating content tree for the site. Now for a good content editor experience, make sure indexes in Sitecore are configured correctly. This improves performance of the processes internally. Also, try and limit the number of versions in any item to the fewest possible. Now, Sitecore recommends keeping 10 or fewer versions of any item. Also remember to set the insert options appropriately. Now, this restricts the user from creating n number of items in your Sitecore content tree. Also for business users, such as content authors, turn off standard fields so that performance is improved. Templates are the basic building blocks of any Sitecore website. They consist of fields, group of fields that are categorized in one or many sections. So to create a good template structure, you have to be aware of a few points. Now let's start by identifying all related fields that are common to an entity and can be further repurposed in other templates and create them as individual templates. Also field names should be always chosen carefully so that the business users can identify and understand them with ease. But uh, make sure that duplicates are avoided. Let's also minimize on the use of RTE fields, rich text editor fields, within the template and keep the templates small. Now, if you utilize inheritance correctly, you can reuse and repurpose existing templates in your website rather than creating a new ones. Organize your template structure as field level templates. Now field level templates are where all uniquely grouped field templates are managed. These get inherited to create content level templates. Now that are used to manage common sections aside. You can create further page level templates that inherit from the content of field level templates to create the page level item. Presentation of the site core is the layer which the user interface on the site. To start with, Try and minimize having more than two or three layouts per device and handle different structures using placeholders and sub layouts respectively. Also, assign the layout details in the standard values rather than on items. When applied at standard values, such modifications become easier to implement across the site. Also, if you use field render controls to render the fields on the presentation, this would automatically enable the native CMS inline editing features on the pages. Now, Sitecore caching options should be configured wherever the controls are used. This improves the site performance. Make use of sub layouts rather than using XSLT renderings while creating complex presentation items. It makes managing the code easy and also allows effective debugging of the code. 